Um, all right, so if you want to talk spiritual for a second, excuse me, since I'm ready to blow this popsicle stand, this popsicle joint, being the state of New York, being the northern hemisphere of America, I can't fucking stand any of them, haven't been useful my whole fucking life, nobody lives here, I mean, it's me, and then some moving pieces of flesh that are Korean or Chinese, a couple of dark-skinned Indians, I found two black guys I like, they're really nice, I saw a lot of black guys in the movie theaters, but they don't live anywhere near me, so they're safe, uh, let's see, anything else? Yeah, no, none of you, are, none of the rest of you ever fucking mattered. Um, okay, so, now, here's the thing. Uh, if your insides, right, like, what keeps you, like, moving, whatever, right, if they're only, like, the size of, like, a, an orange, right, but I have one that's, like, a five, actually, it's, it's, right, yeah, at this point, let's just say five foot six, just for the shits and giggles crowd, and yours is, like, an orb about the size of an orange, um, okay, if they don't have, if the humans have no skin and no machinery that comes out of car the carbon copy machine they call mother, um, right, if that carbon copier never gets impregnated and never shoots out another human in the carbon copy machinery way that body machina works in the human realm, um, then, in order, so, because what happens is you have to put, like, the size of a navel, or, like, a size of an orange, and you have to tie it to the new carbon copy thing, and then it comes out alive. Right, okay, so now, if we're dropping, like, storks out of the, or, or dumbos out of the fucking whatever's, the hole that they arrive through... Uh, if we hold off on that for a while and say, like, if they're at 8 million vessels of uselessness, right, houses, like, we used to call this their temple, right, okay, so in that, in that spracha, if this is their temple, right, and the 8 hole is able to carbon copy the body machina and have either an 8 or a 7 hole come out, right, okay, so if that's the case, um... What if the more carbon copy machines and either in a seven or an eight holer, right? Okay, because they pair up in order to make more. So the more of those temples in the genetic category that they have here on this atmosphere, the smaller their spiritual energy, the less of them the more we're able to kind of, like, put together, like, Play-Doh and make sure when you have one, it's really special. So, that's why I'm like, why do we need so many? Why are you just letting them flourish and repopulate in this, like, exponential problem running in every sort of direction and way and none of it is useful, meaningful, purposeful, or looks like it's even worth going through. Human? What the fuck is wrong with you all? And why is there so many of you, yet none of you, like, actually are being used in a manner that's helpful? I mean, I got, why do we leave so many of them moving in an atmosphere... We don't need them. It's not like they're like adding to like the themselves even. They become like screaming fucking needy, annoying someone else's kids. And you're like, alright, get the fuck off of me. I'm not fucking dealing with you. I got my own shit going on. So why do so many of them fucking exist? Like I mean, seriously. Is this, like, part of the problem? Like, you're held up with everybody else's fucking kids? And you can't fucking take care of my one need of one cock? I mean, really, seriously. One of us is important. Me. And him. The rest of the fucking needy kids in the world are, like, the fucking toilet paper you step on when your shoes, bottom of your shoes are wet because they pissed all over the floor. And you walk in and the toilet paper's there. You didn't see it. You're like, 
Oh, and you thought you were just like, right, and then you didn't know because it's toilet paper and your toilet paper, they don't piss on the floor where you come from, right? And then it's like, oh my god, now I gotta touch it to get it off my face. It's like, it really doesn't come off! No. See, I walk with a flip flop and a stiletto. The guy on the radio earlier, he's like, who's gonna run this town tonight? Right? He's like, how about some Reeboks and some high heels? No, 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 no. I need one flip-flop, that would be me, and then I am owned by a stiletto. He's somewhere else. He's holding my magical Cinderella slipper. It's a stiletto, and he's holding the one. And if you come close to him and make fun of it, he'll take your eye out with the lovely weapon we put at the steel-tipped bottom of that booty.